Welcome to this beautiful, wonderful, synchronistic time, this video. I am so excited. I have three people here with me today because the beautiful Debbie Potts in red has um, just so wonderfully redone my website and she is amazing. And she suggested that I get a couple people to do a live video testimonial. And this conversation that we're going to have is the result of Debbie's brainchild, if you will. So I'd like you to join us, listen in, and find out what mastering your beliefs can do for you. Debbie? Hi, thank you, Nancy. That's um, I'm so happy that you love your website. It was an absolute joy to work on. And just to bring the beautiful you, your light, your energy, and your soul to life. That's how I felt when I worked on your website. So thank you for that opportunity. So as Nancy said, I'm uh, Debbie Potts and I'm a virtual assistant and online business manager based in London, England. Um, and I met Nancy, I'd say it was October, around October 2020 in a um, networking group, an online networking group. And we just somehow clicked in, in that group and, and we felt a sort of attraction to each other and decided, okay, let's um, meet outside of the group and have um, a cup of tea together and just get to know each other. And, you know, um, Nancy was the first person I knew that came from the West Coast um, <laughs> of the state. So it was lovely to, you know, find out just more about Nancy, where she lives, what she does. And um, it was fun. So we met quite regularly I'd say every probably two or so months and um, had a great time enjoyed our conversations would go on for quite a few hours Nancy <laughs> sometimes <laughs> but, you know, right yeah it was lovely and um, after a while Nancy you know as she does in true Nancy style um, would impart these pearls of wisdom to me which I was so hungry for I was like a sponge just waiting for every word and, and to come out so that I could apply it to my life. And this went on for, I'd say, um, about a year or so. Um, and during that time, I felt that um, my whole mindset changed and the way I looked at um, myself to start off with. Um, Nancy taught me about the power of the brain, that, you know, our brain is a muscle and we train it just as we do any other muscles in our body. And so with that said, I could tell my brain all of these wonderful, positive um, manifestation things and they would happen because I believed. And so slowly by slowly, all of my limiting beliefs broke away. My imposter syndrome sort of started fading and, you know, I was so empowered and, and so, oh, I was flying, I guess, is all I can describe it as. And, you know, I attribute that to Nancy. Now, lo and behold, little did I know that come August 2021 last year, my whole life was going to change. And um, we had the devastating news that I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer stage three. And so um, because I believe really, and, and I think this is definitely the case that because of my um, relationship with Nancy and everything that I had built up over time and how she mentored and coached me um, over the, the time that I was speaking with her, prepared me, all of that was meant to happen. I was meant to meet Nancy Muller. She was put in my path because she then armed me with all of this armor that I was able to use to fight this um, battle of cancer. And, you know, throughout my cancer journey, um, I think friends have commented, and maybe you did too, Nancy, when I made a video of my six month cancer journey, I smiled. I smiled when I came out of a 10 hour surgery with tubes and, you know, intravenous drains coming out of me. I smiled throughout my chemotherapy sessions. Um, I smiled when they were 
almost going to amputate my leg because I had developed a 10 centimeter clot. And I just kept smiling and um, I had a calmness over me, which I know seems bizarre because I have cancer or had cancer rather. And even one of my surgeons did comment and say the night before my surgery, he did say, Debbie, you do know that you're going to have this massive surgery tomorrow. And I said, yes, yes, of course I know. And he said, well, why are you so happy? And I said, because it's the next phase to get me to where I want to go. It's the next part of my this battle that I've got to fight and win to get on with my life. And, you know, that was that. And here I am standing or sitting before you today. Um, and I attribute it to Nancy. Um, everything that we talked about, learned, discussed, and I reflected on bore fruit for me on that August day last year. And I believe that that is what has got me through uh, quite a, otherwise would have been a tough time. Um, but, you know, Nancy has taught me how to um, not, I'm not a victim uh, and cancer does not define me. It is, it is a disease just like a common cold or a cough or because underneath that all, I'm still Debbie. I still possess the power of my mind. I can still, um, you know, tell my brain all the things that I want to do. And I just feel that if I hadn't met Nancy Muller back in October 2020, my cancer journey might otherwise have been completely different. And so I thank you for that, Nancy, because you are such a special soul and the light that you emit reaches far and wide. Nancy's in California and I'm in London, England, and I feel ever so close and ever so empowered by Nancy Muller. So if you're looking for someone to empower you and help you take control, Nancy's your woman. And you, now Debbie. I'll hand over to Bree oh, or Nancy. <laughs> thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that. And I and I and I'm gonna get out the Kleenex here because your words <laughs> have really touched me. Thank oh, you thank so you. much. And very I, heartfelt, and and that is how how you are, Nancy. You do touch people's lives. And it's about you and a testimony to you as well that you were willing to do the inner work, and you know you were ready. I always say that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And so mm -hmm. I really commend you for doing the inner work and being prepared for your cancer journey. Thank you. Thank you. Bree. The lovely Bree. Who are you and why are you so fabulous? <laughs> well, before I even start, thank you, Debbie, for sharing. I actually got goosebumps because, oh. I mean, only thank you, Nancy Bree. could attest to this. It's like I was like listening to my life. <laughs> oh, bless um, you. as Nancy knows, I'm a cancer survivor. The second time yeah. I had cancer was of the um the first time actually. It was ovarian also. Yeah. Um oh, wow. and to piggyback on what you said um before I introduce myself, you're very correct. Um the to be able to overcome something like that, you to have a Nancy in your corner, I mean, that is just yeah. you were empowered before yeah. you needed the power. Yeah. And I can only imagine why you were able to navigate um, your journey so yeah. well and effectively yeah. because you had Nancy Muller. Like there, I have no doubt about that yeah. um, with regard to the wisdom and the encouragement that's so, that's so enriching. Yeah. Um, I'm Brigitte Limontas. I go by Brie mostly by most people. Um, I'm a nurse. I'm a licensed medical esthetician. I'm an esthetician. I'm a business owner. <laughs> I'm all of the above. Um, in the capacity of collaborating and working with Manny, um, Manny, I'm thinking about, I'm also a, a wife. Um, with working with Nancy, I can honestly tell you that Nancy came into my life in a time where I think I was so hungry for wisdom, mm. so hungry for wisdom, so hungry for guidance, so hungry for um for structure. But I think, some, you know, when you're hungry, but you don't even know where to start. So it's like you're at a buffet and you have this hunger and you don't know, do I go straight for dessert? 
Do I go for the appetizers? And then you have someone amazing pop up and go, you can have everything. Just <laughs> pace, pace yourself and do it in the manner where you won't um, overwhelm yourself. And I believe Nancy embodies the concept of you can have it all if you don't overwhelm yourself. I think that is something that is very concrete to me in the terms of I am rid of that limited, limiting belief that um, to have it all is this obtuse, ambiguous thing outside of me, this understanding that half the battle is it's here. The real, man, um, Nancy really helps you understand that just the ability to think it already makes it part of your reality. And I'm very grateful for that because I think we are taught many times that um, to think something outside of us is almost borderline insanity. You know what I mean? Whereas it's more of the opportunity to see like, no, if I could think it, it's because it's within the realms of my belief or within the realms of my access. And I can tell you, um, whereas many things might have been dogma or me believing in chance or coincidence, Nancy solidified for me. And I, you know, I say this to you and I know, I think I've texted that to you before. You solidified my belief in like, nothing's out of my reach. Not only am I strong, healthy, you know, all of these beautiful adjectives I could say about myself, but literally to think it is already, I can discard that limiting belief. Like you said, the imposter syndrome. I think that was very, that's the, I don't know if we've ever discussed the terminology, but I, I definitely know that's something that I've struggled with. And um, just what I've been able to achieve while working with Nancy, it made me realize like, you know, we are creators of our path. We are collaborating with people who are meant to be in our path to help us see our potential. We are not our limitations. The limitations half the time are mental barricades. They're not actual, they're not tangible things. You know what I mean? There's no coincidence when you overcome cancer. That means it was already in you. There's no, um, there's no, I suddenly became a successful business owner. It was already in you. It was a constant um, combative internal journey. And then I think what's incredible about you, Nancy, you come in and you help the weapons go down. And then I think the most powerful thing that you've allowed me to see for me personally is why are you fighting? Because half the time there's no battle needed. Half the time, there's no battle needed. Half the time, there's not even anything to figure out. I think one of the most powerful things you've done in my life is that I realize there are things I just don't even need to, there's no combat there. I think the most powerful thing Nancy has ever taught me, like at all, was like, you understand that life would have kept going on whether or not you address this. That is a powerful thing to, to teach someone, at least someone like me that's always looking for how to solve, not realizing my desire to how to solve doesn't necessarily equate a solution. You help me see that. I might be so hungry to solve something, but am I really creating solutions or am I just creating another problem for myself? I think, um, I don't wanna say I was a victim. I think I could fall into the traps of victim mentality. And Nancy really helped me see, like, do you see where you're at a crossroad here? You're at a fork where you can actually find a solution or you can complain about it. And we're taught that, oh, I'm venting. I'm actually not venting. I'm becoming a victim. You really helped me see like in this scenario, I could just walk away. I think that's extremely powerful and it allows me to be conducive to my environment, to my business, to the roles that I play in my life and just for my own mental health. I think what one person should never underestimate about working with you, Nancy, you catapult a person's mental health by hands down, hands down. I've recommended some, you know, I don't know if they've called you, but I've recommended, I think even to my own clients, I've recommended Nancy. I am very transparent about working with Nancy because working with Nancy has empowered me in a way where I, I mean, I've, I've pretty much got rid of almost every limiting belief. I think if, if I have one, if I have any more left, I might've created them today. <laughs> Nancy helped me see like, Brigitte, do you understand the wealth of knowledge that you have and you you're making yourself believe you have to go find it somewhere else. Meanwhile, I'm talking to you and you already have it. So um, working with you, Nancy, has really empowered me in ways that I, I, I as a nurse can tell you pharmaceuticals wouldn't have done it. Pharmaceuticals will make you 
they numb you. Most patients don't know that. Many pharmaceuticals and psychedelics, it is the art of numbing you. Whereas working with someone like you is literally the art of tapping into your potential. And you escape your victimhood. You escape your victimhood, not as an escapee, but as a victor. And as a victor, you are able to conquer the world unapologetically with the most sincere sincere desire to empower others. Because I mean, I mean, to work to Miss Josephine. God bless you. <laughs> and God bless you. I mean, yeah, the the work that you do, I mean, the discipline that Nancy has imparted in me, the wisdom, it's money can't buy it. That, that okay. it's the, it is literally a, a gift of grace from the universe. It is really a gift of opportunity to cross paths. Because I could have crossed paths with anyone because I could have yeah. been a student to anyone. My innate desire to have the right master, the right yeah. sensei, the right, all of the above allowed me to work with someone that is heavily invested in my blossoming. You can't put a price on that. Yeah. I'm very grateful, very grateful. Thank you, Bree. I'm I'm very touched. Thank you very much. And I, I applaud you as well and your willingness mm. to do the inner work as well. <laughs> and, um, and the reason for thanking Josephine for all of you watching this video, Josephine is my mother. And I asked my mother to be part of this call because well, especially since I do a lot of work with mother-daughter relationships and mother karma. And uh, it was interesting. We were had a little fun discussion before we started recording this. And I mentioned that for a brief time, my mother worked at my high school when I was in high school. And the girl said, oh, that must have been fun. And I said, um, actually, no, it wasn't. Because <laughs> here was me, my younger self, and I was watching my classmates and how they were interacting with my mom and they seemed to enjoy her company and even her harshness. And I could not understand. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? Don't they know how mean she is? I don't understand. But the thing is, is that when you understand that everything is energy, when you understand energy work, when you finally open your mind and remember, because you know this, everybody knows this, when you mm. remember who you are and what you came here to be, which is love and shining your light and continuing to expand the love and light that you are, you, you understand that people are in your life because we have karmic contracts with people and the same can, it was said for my mother. So what I saw as my younger self, as um, harshness, trauma, um, difficulties, and I just couldn't understand like, why is this my life? Why is this my life? It, it was slowly revealed to me the more I studied martial arts and mindset. And um, finally, when I started understanding how to put this together, I created the Master in Your Belief program. And what was interesting is my mom and I were pretty, um, um, our, our, our paths did not cross much. And we were separate most of the time and then there was a time when my mom called me one day and she said Nancy I see what you're doing with all of these women and I was wondering if how you're helping them would possibly help our relationship and after I picked myself up off the floor <laughs> um, my mom and I started having some dialogue and it's not like I took her on as a client but um, I basically was there to answer questions that she had. So as she was trying to um, put it into a way that, that her mind would accept, she would say, well, this happened. And so, you know, how do you teach people about this? And I would answer her question. And then of course, a lot of it had to do with her guilt of the choices she made when I was a younger uh, person. And, you know, it was that love that I was able to share and say, the past is the past. You mm -hmm. will only create your future from your past until you let go of the past, until you let go of those experiences. And 
you know, it was her accepting of her, me of accepting of my role in our um, relationship together. And so mom, I'm, I'm really happy and proud to have you as part of this. So uh, I'd love for you to share um, where you are in all of this. Well, uh, hello. I'm, of course, as we said, I'm Nancy's mother, and I don't have the words like the rest of you have, but I'll try. Um, and, and actually, I, I don't know where to begin. Well, just begin with, you know, how are you feeling about watching what I do and because you're like my biggest champion now. I mean, you're there for every live um, mastering your beliefs live that I do. I mean, you're always there. So where are you on all of this? Well, yeah, in the, in the beginning uh, when, <clears throat> I don't know if it's the beginning, but uh, once Nancy started writing her book and getting into this and then her and I started talking more and we just got closer and closer as we divulged things that we didn't realize in the because my life as i look into it what made me be me is because of my father and and uh, believe me that was very very difficult my growing up so it had bearing on how i raised my children which was very very not the way to do it because it was my father's old world teachings that just didn't come across to my children and uh, it didn't work very well. But as uh, Nancy said, and uh, as she started getting into martial arts and getting into learning this, we got, Nancy and I got together and we were, the more we talked, the more we discovered things and how I worked and how I thought and 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 anyway we worked it out and it's so beautiful and I thank God that uh, and I keep telling her over and over that I had the second chance and I'm really thrilled and thrilled to see her watch her help people and and get to know the people that she's known like the both of you, it's a joy. And uh, that's where we are today. It's it's just um, wonderful to watch her work and follow her work. And, and it, it just gives me great, great joy. Very well said, Mom. Thank you. I know you were, you, you just are. I'm not good with words, no. No, that was beautiful, Josephine. That was beautiful. That it was, was beautiful. beautiful. It was beautiful. That Whatever was words you think heart. you didn't say, you admitted the emotion. And it thrills yeah. me, like to meet both of you, ladies. That that I could. It it just it just is uh is just very thrilling. Oh, thank you. Thank well, you it's like Maya thank Angelou you. said. You, it's like Maya Angelou said. People might forget what you say but they'll never forget how you make them feel right. and um, how you feel about our relationship and the renewed understanding of how these karmic contracts work between people. Um, it comes out in your words. It really does. And I am very grateful for you as well. And it's just so beautiful to be in the presence yet again, Nancy, you know, to witness this amazing relationship you're having with your mom, Josephine. And and I, you know, just hearing Josephine speaking gave me goosebumps and tears because to have that, as Josephine put it, second chance and to, you know, get closer and closer each time you guys connect and talk. My God, that's the most beautiful mother, daughter um comeback I've ever heard it, it, it's very very exciting and rewarding yes I enjoy it every day oh. looking forward to talking with Nancy every day oh. that's, that's amazing. amazing amazing love it 
And the beautiful thing is that, um, you know, every book that I've published, uh, there is a lot about my life and my childhood, not a lot, but uh, depending on which book it is. And mm -hmm. I've always gotten my mom's permission. I'm like, this is what I'm going to write. Are you uh, okay with this being out there? And, you know, it was interesting because my first book, she was very open and it surprised me. She said, I'm so glad you wrote this because it's time. It's time to get this out there. It's time for people to know the truth. And it's time for us to stop hiding behind um, the past. Mm. And, you know, because of her allowance and opening up, she has also gifted me with the opportunity to be able to share my work, my life, my experiences, and why I do what I do with others. And this is where Debbie and Bree, you know, you are the culmination of that. And a gift it is, a true gift. So, yeah, I guess, you know, Josephine, a lot of thanks should come to you, you because you've given us and shown us, you know, the humility and the love and the realisation and the self-reflection and all of those things that we should do to, to help us grow. You, you have epitomised it just by hearing how proud you are of your daughter and how your relationship is going. I think it's so beautiful. And I really wish I was near you guys to give you a big hug. That would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also a testament of your willingness. Because remember, we could, we can't, you can't force these interactions. So I think it's so beautiful that you have a willingness. Mm -hmm. And that willingness breaks down barriers and it opens doors that to the present day there is a Debbie, there is a Brie in yeah. you know in, in this bigger circle of things. I think that decision, that small decision that you chose to be transparent and collaborate with Nancy, it literally led to perpetual healing. Yeah. So it's almost Very like you, well it, 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 it's it's almost like you also have a hand <laughs> in yeah. all of the progress that others that others make because it began the most intimate relationship. You allowed it, you allowed it to happen because there's there Nancy's incredible, but to bear fruit with your own mom is a different level. Yeah. That you you allowed Nancy to tap into another level of life changing. Because that's it doesn't get more authentic to mother and daughter relationships. Yeah. Very well said, Brie. I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, ladies, I really appreciate you. Uh, taking the time out of your day and mom, you know, to share some of your story and what it's like to work with me and what mastering your beliefs is all about to you. Um, do you have anything that you like feel is like a pearl of wisdom that you would like to share about mastering your beliefs or mother karma or anything like that before we go? Debbie? Okay, I think for, for me, the thing that stands out most um, from my limiting beliefs and imposter syndrome that I possessed pre-Nancy Muller was just the fact that um, when you believe something and you truly believe it and you own it and you embody it, it's yours. And... So all of these things that I've been through, that my business, the success of my business, beating cancer, it comes from Nancy's Mastering Your Beliefs teachings. And I'm ever so grateful for that. You have no, I have no words to say how grateful I am. Thank, Thank you, Nancy. You. Thank you, Debbie. Bree? Um, I think, at least for me, the most powerful thing has been nothing is as um big as you think it is like that has been powerful for me I think um many people could benefit from hearing that and really understanding it and believing it because once you realize um half the battles that we're fighting are not battles they're just tussles <laughs> it's just you just tripped then you realize that you can navigate the rest of your day without having a nervous breakdown. I think that's a gift, especially as a business owner, so you don't completely shut down. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Thank you, that's that's awesome, thank you. Mom, anything you'd like to say? 
a, a very important thing is uh, we all have trials and tribulations, but and and problems and but to to have friends like Nan, a daughter like Nancy and friends like Debbie and Bree, uh, we help each other. Mm -hmm. um, I truly believe that God works through each of us to help each other. And it just, uh, it's just a warm, warm feeling and wonderful feeling. And it helps you to face every day, face yeah. any problem. Yeah. yeah, that's very powerful, actually. You're very correct. Yeah. You have a friend like, to have your, a friend like your daughter, people like your daughter around us, that's that's a game changer. It's a different mindset. It yeah. is. And, yeah. and to meet each of you and uh, it's, uh, it's just, it just helps each other. Yeah. As we say in, in Africa, Josephine, it takes a village. <laughs> yes. And, yes, and indeed. Nancy's got her little village around her. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes. Great things. Yeah. Well, thank you, ladies. Again, I really appreciate you taking your time today and speaking on, on camera. And I almost said on film. That <laughs> really dates me, doesn't it? And I, I, I really appreciate you being here and sharing your love and sharing your light. And I like mom, what you said that you feel that the women that I work with and are in my circle are your friends, because that's true. Whether I am the teacher or the master, or the student, we're all friends. We're all connected. Everything is connected. And every person that comes into our life is in our life for a reason. And we may not know what it is today, but it will be revealed to us. And faith is a belief in something we cannot see. And we can either have faith in the negative, meaning nothing's ever going to work out for me, or we can have faith in the positive, meaning everything is working for my highest good. Yeah. And with that, I'll let you go. In the meantime, this is Nancy Muller, the one and only Life Sensei, saying ciao for now. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, ladies. <laughs>